This is a vlog. Today's vlog is going to be all about my visit to VidCon. And so there might be a little bit of inside baseball talk here, some behind the scenes, what goes on in making my YouTube videos and how I'm getting better at what I do. This is my second channel. If you're not subscribed to my first channel, you're in the wrong place. So click on this link, go to my other channel, subscribe, watch all 100 videos, and then come back here to watch this video. See you in a couple days. So a couple weeks ago, I had the awesome opportunity to go to VidCon. It is a conference for people who love online video. It took place in Anaheim, California. There were 25,000 people there. That is a lot of eyeballs and legs. This year was the seventh year, my first time being there. Lots and lots of famous YouTube stars there. I did not partake in any of the meet and greets. I was there to learn, so I didn't go to the Casey Neistat talk or any of the other famous talks because I wanted to go to the classes and the panels where they're actually teaching you something because I want to grow my channel. I got to meet so many super awesome and crazy cool people. I have learned that creators are the coolest people in the world. They're open and friendly and I think I made some future friends. Future friends, is that a thing? I just met so many awesome cool people. I learned so much, not only from the panels and classes, but the people I got to hang out with. It was just a really, really cool experience. So let's talk a little bit more about what VidCon is and what you can expect. It takes place at the Anaheim Convention Center. The place is huge, it has three levels. The first level they call the community level. If you bought a community ticket, you could only go to the first level. And that was where all the booths were. Famous YouTube people would have their talks and meet and greets with their fans. And the second level was for the creators. If you bought a creator ticket, you could go to levels one and two. And on that level, they would have the panels and classes and teach you how to grow your audience and make your channel better. And the third level was industry. So if you bought an industry ticket, you could go to all three levels. And industry is a very wide term. It could be brands, production companies, people who wear ties, people who don't wear ties. I did get to sneak up to the third level once to go catch the YouTube keynote, which they announced some upcoming features, which was pretty cool. Let's talk about some of the panels that I attended. The first one I went to was how to deal with freebooting and piracy, and that was put on by Dustin from Smarter Every Day and Henry from Minute Physics. It was eye-opening, it was really cool to hear how the proper way to go about getting your content back. Another one I went to was Building Teams with Jack Conte from Patreon, which is really appropriate because I just hired somebody to do some videography for me. It was a great learning experience to uh, learn how to treat people, how to work with other people, and Jack is just a really smart and caring dude. I could watch a Jack Conte talk all day. He's so passionate about what he does and he cares about artists and creators so much. It's ugh, ugh, ugh. Another one I went to, the Slow Mo Guys. If you're familiar with their channel, they just did a Q&A with their audience. I learned a lot because the people from the audience were there to ask questions about production techniques or how they handle this or, or how they do things. And so it was kind of cool to hear how other creators make their videos and how they deal with sponsorships and, and all that. It's audience growth with Matt Guilin from the Federator Networks. His audience growth talk was just eye-opening. It is because of that talk that I am making changes to my channel right now. It is why I'm putting all the vlogs on a second channel and keeping my main channel a very tight focus of just project videos. That 45 minute panel was worth the entire trip. It was so good. Epic Mealtime, if you're familiar with that channel, uh, they had a panel on from YouTube to production company. It was pretty cool and you got to hear the difference between shooting for television and shooting for YouTube. Huge difference money-wise. Television, there's all these crazy things like to turn on a stove on a television, you have to have a fire marshal there. You have to pay a fire marshal to be there. And then you have to get permits to film in, in the cities and streets and public areas and on YouTube we just do our thing. One of my favorite channels is Threadbanger that is with Rob and Corinne and they just do these silly little Pinterest based uh, experiments and projects on their channel and I love it it's just they're so fun to watch and they did a talk on knowing when to pivot I felt like they were talking to me because many times in my career and I've talked about this before is I've just 
stopped what I'm doing, pivoted, and changed directions. So their channel used to be a sewing channel. It was kind of boring, it was very like how-to-ish. One day, Rob was working on this project and he was getting very frustrated and he was cursing and yelling and just have, being angry on camera. And Corinne said, let's just make that the video. And they did, and their YouTube numbers went crazy. They found a way to be entertaining while doing the projects. Now, cursing and overreacting and all that's not for everybody and it's it's not the key to success but it was for them and it was really cool to hear their story. There were tons and tons and tons of other panels that I wanted to go to but I just couldn't because there wasn't enough David Pachudos in the world. Topics include how to make money with a small audience, how to get sponsored, production techniques, growing, scaling, handling criticism, analytics, how to use music, and so on. So many awesome topics. So many. It was Oh, have I said how fun and awesome it was? So here's what I took away from VidCon. The common theme, the common topic that was from talk to talk to talk to talk that everybody talked about was personality. You got to have personality. People will watch videos of subject matters they don't care about if the personality is fun or entertaining or connects to that user or the viewer. I already knew that personality is a big part of why people watch YouTube, but when you hear other people say it over and over and over again, you're like, okay, it's time to make a change. So I moved the vlogs to this channel. I hired my video guy and you're gonna see a lot more of my face. I'm getting rid of the voiceovers in my video and I'm gonna be talking during the build. And so you can actually see how I react or how I handle a situation. Hopefully what I'm able to do is to actually show how much fun I'm having building the thing. I want people to watch my videos and say, that looks crazy fun. I want to do that. I want you to be inspired and walk away from the videos thinking, I can do that. That is my goal. I also want you to be entertained. Along with personality is lots of energy and excitement. <laughs> and you're gonna see a lot more of that. You used to see my energy in my wrap-ups and the makers and shakers. And now that I'm just doing these boring tutorials with voiceovers and everything below the neck, that energy is kind of lost. I am bringing that back into my project build. I'm bringing that back in the vlogs and you're gonna see my energy and personality again. Some of you ain't gonna like it. Some of you are gonna love it. One of the big things is like, it's so motivating. We can watch how-to videos and how to build your channel videos, how to get sponsorship. We can watch all these, there's all kinds of content online that you can read and you can watch these videos to learn how to do these things. But when you hear people in person, it's so super motivating. The problem with learning online versus learning in person is when you learn online, you're so distracted by all these other recommended videos or what to watch next. And you, you just click on that next video and then what you just learned, you may forget or you may not, it may not just, that seed might be might not be planted all the way in the, in the dirt for it to grow. But when you're at these conferences and when you learn in person, it's it's that's your main focus. And you're taking notes and you retain all this information and it's so motivating. And that's why you're seeing all these changes that I'm doing to my channel all at once. One of the things I took away from it is, and I knew this already, I already knew this information, but thumbnails and titles are so important because you're competing against all these other videos that YouTube is trying to show you. Thumbnails are crazy important, I knew that. But when there are people up on stage saying, you have to make your thumbnails show what the video is about, you have to get the user excited. I heard this over and over and over again, I decided I'm making that change and that's why you see new thumbnails. Let me tell you why thumbnails are so important. So recently, I have made the conscious decision decision to not watch many woodworking videos or many shop based videos and that is because I don't want to be influenced too much by the our community, this awesome community that we're in. I would rather be influenced by a science channel or an entertainment channel or a comedy channel and use those things and bring them into my videos to make my videos different. I still subscribe to all these different woodworking channels. Here's where thumbnails come in. If it's just another bookcase or whatever, I'm probably not gonna watch it, but if that thumbnail looks interesting and there's some crazy awesome design aspects of what they're making or that thumbnail is exciting or that title grabs my attention, I'm going to watch that video. And that is why your thumbnails are so crazy important. You are competing against so many other people. Your thumbnails 
have to be better than everybody else. Your thumbnails have to tell what your video is about. Your thumbnails have to show the, the energy of the video. Just more than ever, thumbnails and titles are just so crazy important. And it's one of the big changes you're seeing on my channel right now. Will I go back? I cannot wait to go back next year because it was so crazy fun. I learned so much. I met so many awesome people. I love hanging out with other people that do this thing. It was just, it was so cool. The problem with VidCon is it happens within a month of Maker Faire, which is also in California. So next year, I may only be able to do one. And right now, if I had to choose between Maker Faire or VidCon, I would probably choose VidCon. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe my situation will be better this time next year and I can go to both. But right now, if I had to choose one, it would definitely be VidCon. I just, I, I took away so much from it. All right, so we are going to continue this conversation over on Patreon. Patreon members get extended vlogs every week, almost every week. Patreon members also have access to the weekly giveaways, which includes books, things I've made, and tools. And every week we're giving away something different. All right, folks, if you have more topics that you'd like to hear me talk about in these vlogs, let me know in the comments down below. I think next week we're going to discuss all the books that I have over here. That is it, folks. Be safe, be passionate, and make something. <laughs>